Here we're going to solve some exponential equations. In general, the way we solve exponential equations is using logarithms. We rewrite each exponential equation as a logarithmic equation. And when we do this, the base of the exponent goes to the other side as the base of the logarithm. And that's how the equation gets transformed. So, for example, with the first one, this equation becomes x equals log base 10 of 1,000. So again, the base of the exponent on the left traveled to the right side and became the base of the logarithm, which brought the x down from the exponent, leaving it by itself. Thus, to find x, we just need to evaluate log base 10 of 1,000. Pulling up the calculator, we evaluate log, which means log base 10, of 1,000. And the answer, of course, is 3. Therefore, x equals 3 for the first example. The second example works just the same way. We rewrite this exponential equation as a logarithmic equation. The base of the exponent becomes the base of the log. And now we need to evaluate log base 10 of 3. Again, using the calculator, we type in log of 3 and find that the answer is 0.477 if we round to three decimal places. For the third one, we first need to divide by 2 to get it to look like one of the first two. So dividing both sides by 2, we get 10 to the x equals 4, or x equals log base 10 of 4. Evaluating this one on the calculator, log of 4 is 0.602. The next two work very similarly, except the base of the exponent is e instead of 10, so the base of the logarithm will also be e, meaning we'll use the natural logarithm, ln. Rewriting part d as a logarithmic equation, we get x equals log base e, or ln, of 5, and evaluating that, ln of 5 equals 1.609. In part E, we have to do like we did in part C, and divide both sides by three first to isolate the exponential. So when solving a general exponential equation, we first isolate the exponential, and then rewrite the equation as a logarithmic equation. Here, dividing both sides by three gives us e to the x equals four, and then rewriting as a logarithmic equation, x equals ln of four. Using our calculator, we find that ln of four is 1.386. For part f, we rewrite this as a logarithmic equation and get x equals log base 2.5 of 17. Now, to evaluate a logarithm with a different base than 10 or e, you can dig through your calculator and find a function for this, but the easier way to do this is to use the change of base formula. To do that, I can use either log or ln and find log of 17 divided by log of 2.5. Or I could do ln of 17 divided by ln of 2.5. That's the change of base formula, and either one gives me the same answer, so either one is fine. Either way, I find that the answer is that x equals 3.092. For part g, I do the same thing, rewriting this as a logarithmic equation x equals log base 0 0.2 of 2. And on the calculator, I can use the change of base formula. Log 2 divided by log 0.2. And I find that x is negative 0 0.431. For the last one, I first need to isolate the exponential. So I'll divide both sides by 50. So 125 divided by 50 is 2.5, which means that 1.04 to the x equals 2.5, or x equals log base 1.04 of 2.5. On the calculator, log 2.5 divided by log 1.04 equals 23.362. So we went through those quickly, but they're all very similar. In general, to solve an exponential equation, start by isolating the exponential, and then rewrite the equation in logarithmic form, and then use your calculator to evaluate it. 
either directly or with the change of base formula.